I'm Charles Martinet, and now it's time for Runner 3. Well, thank you so much for the introduction, Charles. That's usually my job, so let me do it. Hello, Zebra Herd, and welcome to BitTrip Runner 3, or I guess it's just Runner 3 now. I am so excited to play this. I've been eagerly awaiting this since it was announced last year. It's a Switch exclusive, and I have played BitTrip Runner 1 and 2 on my own. I love those games. I do like BitTrip Runner 1 a little bit more than I like the sequel, so I'm wondering where this one will sort of place within all of that. And also, I don't know how many episodes I'm gonna be playing. It might just be a couple might just be way more than that. It really depends on if you guys are interested. And then finally, a huge thank you to the developers for sending me an early code to check out the game. I really appreciate it. But with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get started with Runner 3. Okay, so it looks like we have to choose between Commander Video and his lady friend. I think we're just gonna do Commander Video for right now. We'll start the game and see how everything goes. But also, if you don't know, the narrator of this game, Charles Martinet, is actually the voice actor of Mario, you know, like Super Mario. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like we had our first world here, which is Foodland. Ah, see, he says it himself. So yeah, I hope everything goes well. Bitchup Runner 1 and 2 were super duper difficult runner type games, so I don't know how well I'm gonna do. Uh, so that's why I just wanna have fun with it for this first episode. But it looks like we have World 1 1, The Milky Way. The Milky Way. Yeah, that's what I said. So yeah, let's get started. I hope it's not crazy difficult, but I know that apparently there are like levels you can unlock that are like super duper crazy difficult, but I hope we can at least get through the game okay. If it isn't too difficult, maybe we could do like one world an episode and do a couple episodes that way and see how everybody likes it. But I think I'm gonna have some fun. Okay, so one one the Milky Way. And Bitrip Runner is pretty simple. All you have to do is, you know, run. I mean, honestly, all the controls are pretty simple because it's an auto runner. I'm not actually making the character run. He runs all by himself. All I'm doing is making him jump, dodge, duck, all that kind of stuff, trying to make sure that he does not get hit by any of the obstacles along his way and picking up some golden goodies along the way too. So that's sort of the whole idea and that's how it was in the first two games as well and I'm interested to see how it might pick things up a little bit. And there are divulging paths. I don't know how I got to the other one but that's definitely new. Okay, no I missed some gold already, gosh darn it. <laughs> Hold on, should I die? Cause I think if we die, let's, let's show this now. With that fish screaming? I think he was screaming. Uh, Oh, everything really is made out of food. The trees are like cantaloupes and blueberries and grapefruit, pretty cool. But yeah, if you die, you get sent back to the beginning. I think there might be checkpoints, so we do have to be careful of those, try to make sure we get them. Okay, not even a full like minute into the uh, the playthrough. <laughs> and I'm already getting interrupted by my cats. That's not a good sign. And there are cereal in the background too. I don't know what that said, so I couldn't read it. But the, yeah, there are these little, uh, uh, what are they called? Boom boxes we can pick up. I don't know what they do, I can't exactly remember. I know they were in the other games as well. Here's the screaming fish. <laughs> he seems horrified, but then why did he jump? Maybe because he's worried because he's swimming in milk? Like, fish need water. There's nothing they can breathe in with, like, if they're swimming in milk. Poor guy. Anyways, oh gosh, I don't think I can land in the jump. Are they in the <laughs> I can't land in the milk, so I have to jump out over it, yep. Do we have to go back to the beginning again? Oh no! <laughs> All right, I may not be good at this game. Like, that's my quick warning, is that I might be really bad at it, which is another reason why I'm on the fence if I'll do a full playthrough, if we'll just play a little bit today. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, for right now, we're gonna pick up a bunch of gold because, you know, that's just sort of the good thing to do. Uh, I'm guessing getting gold is gonna unlock a bunch of stuff for us, probably different levels. That'd be fun. But what was cool about the first game was that it was actually a 2D character on like a 3D environment, and then in the second game, they moved on to like a full, 3D environment like they have here. Did I miss a piece of gold there? I might have. Oh boy. You know, if we do, I'm gonna keep going on with the level. I don't wanna give up now, you know? But yeah, right now all we can do is jump, but we will be unlocking new moves and tricks soon. Uh, there's a lot you can do. It got really in depth in the first game. I never finished the second game, but I did finish the first one way back when. And it is pretty cool that this game is a Switch exclusive to start, I have to assume. The second one, I think, was multi-platform from the beginning. But the first one, oh, here's a checkpoint. And I think I could actually, if I wanted some extra challenge, I could jump over the checkpoint, not activate it, and get some extra points. But uh, I gotta be honest, I'm not playing for points. But the first runner game was actually a, uh, 
a Nintendo Wii digital shop exclusive, and eventually came the other platforms as well. But uh, it sort of goes full circle now with Runner 3, this being on, oh gosh, the Switch right now. Okay, this is getting really scary. This platform's falling. Okay, um, there we go. And we have a lot of control over our jumps. We can do like a longer jump, where there's a little bit of like hang time in the air. Oh my gosh, okay, we got some like moving ladders. Who made these ladders? They need to not make any more, but they made a lot of them. <laughs> Come on, there you go. Whoa. But yeah, there are multiple jumps we can make. We're on like super colorful rainbow mode right now, which I don't know what this does except for just give us a bigger score. But it looks like if we could unlock these other paths, we get other types of gold. It's all sort of like hollow right now, or like transparent. Okay, ooh, we got a bonus, so we must have gotten all the gold or something. Oh, I remember this from the second game. So we have like this cannon, and our goal is, oh, <laughs> to hit the bullseye. I don't think we get anything extra for it except for extra points. But there we go, did we get all the, oh, oh gosh, I pressed A. Yeah, we got all 100 gold, that is awesome. And then gem path available, I think that says it's going upside down. So yeah, I guess the, the second path that's been blocked off uh, can now be replayed and get that. That's interesting. I probably won't be doing that right now because I, I'm sure you guys wanna see me play new level. You don't want me to replay the level I just played, but uh, yeah, as you can see, we got 100 of the 100 golden bricks, but there's also 25 gems, and then like a little puppet of Commander Video. Don't know what that's about. Um, and there's a, a rankings, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm playing this before it comes out worldwide, so I really don't know uh, who these people are. I mean, I don't think I would be able to recognize them if it was worldwide anyways. But anyways, World 1-2. Uh, Just what he said. <laughs> he probably pronounced it better than I could anyways. But all of the levels seem to have something to do with food. But only this first world seemed to be food land. So I don't know what the other worlds are gonna be like, but hopefully they're cool. But yeah, this game, it has a story to start you out with, which is pretty cool. That, you know, there's good level design so far. It's, it's really pretty game. It's very weird artistically, it has some I don't know, just interesting stuff, but I wonder if we're gonna run into any new mechanics now. We, we've learned how to jump. And another thing about it that a lot of people don't notice, I mean, I guess some people, oh, that, okay, that was weird. Thought he was gonna move towards me. Uh, <laughs> is that it's also a bit of a rhythm game. If you listen to the music, which you won't be able to do too much with me blabbing over it, and you listen to yourself pick up the gold, it sort of has like a rhythm to it. Everything, you know, Commander Video does has a bit of like a bloop and a blomp and a bleep to it. And that makes it so like if you're a little stuck on what timing you're supposed to have, you can sort of follow the music. Okay, I gotta do a little bit smaller jumps there. There we go, and oh hey, an air airplane. Uh, okay, this is a little weird. I was not expecting this. Uh, there's vehicle sections now. This is really cool, as long as I can make it. Got it, good, good. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. This is so weird, and the controls are like super tight. There's a giant bee, a giant bee and a tutu. <laughs> What was with that? Okay, and our airplane popped like a balloon. See, there's a longer jump if you hold the B button down for a little longer, and then there's like sort of like a shorter button, if, or a shorter jump if you just tap the button. And there we go, we got the checkpoint. I don't plan on avoiding the checkpoints. I probably will really, really need them. <laughs> Leave me alone, Mr. Robot, what did I do to you? Okay, got it. And then grab you, awesome. Cool, so let's go ahead and get that gold piece, and that one as well. Whoa, no, 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 I gotta crash. I can't crash, hold on. <laughs> no, I need to crash, I need to get all the gold. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't believe I messed it up. Crash, there you go. Jeez, I can't believe you can't just like crash off the edge. That was funny. Okay, I'm ready to go. There we go, whoop, whoop, nice. I wonder if he's gonna keep all of his old moves from last time or if they're just gonna introduce new ones. Cause I'm pretty sure there are a couple new moves. I'm trying to go into this relatively fresh. I didn't look too much into the game. I saw that you know, they announced it last year and I was like, oh sweet. I think it was delayed to some extent. Like originally it was only uh, gonna come out in December and then it got delayed all the way to now May. But that's fine with me. <laughs> as long as I get to play the game at some point. Okay, this, this platform is gonna fall, right? No, okay. Whoop. Oh, there's a donut. That that made that platform fall. Oh, I can switch lanes. Well, I wanna stay on the right because there's actually collectibles on this side. 
Okay, so I can use the L and R to like switch paths in a weird way. Wasn't expecting that, it reminds me of a little big planet. Okay, okay, ready, jump! Oh man, that guy is so scary to jump over. Whoop, and there we go, we did it! We got all 100 pieces again, and we get ourselves a bonus. So let's see if I can't hit the bullseye this time. It's built tough, apparently, that's what it says. Oh, so close! So very close to the bullseye, that was awesome. So we got ourselves 100 gold bricks, we got the gem path, and now it shows uh, Commander Video's girlfriend. I don't know what her name is. Uh, I'm not too familiar with that character. But I know in the original, or not in the original, but in Bit Trip Runner 2, there was, oh wow, there's lots of stuff unlocking. There was costumes you could get. So what is this? One, uh, exclamation point one, 95 windows. Huh. Okay, well maybe we can tackle that once we get 250 golden bricks. It looks like a bonus level, so I might do that after we complete World 1. And then we have 1-3, the, the Meaty Treaty. Well, what do you know? So this might be fun. I mean, I don't eat meat myself, I'm a zebra, you know, we're herbivores, but I can at least appreciate the environment <laughs> or something. I do like the, the wacky landscape of it all so far. Like the art style definitely sticks out in this game in an interesting way. Like a lot of games, a lot of platformers sort of, you know, end up melding together sometimes with all the different kind of platformers there are out there, but I thought this one sticks out pretty well. Oh, so we do have a new move now, it's just sliding. Whoop. And, oh, is that new? Oh, that's definitely new. Here, let's go to the, no, 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 there we go. So can we switch at any time? I am not going to try to find out right now. That's definitely new. Hold on, I'll explain it when I have a moment to breathe here. Uh, but if you jump and then you press down, you sort of do like a downward slam, which that is new. They used to not have that, so it's gonna make jumping a little bit easier, which is great. Okay, ready, whoop. And then, okay, got it, got it. Oh, that's so scary, okay. I don't know how I'm doing so well right now on the first try. <laughs> I think this downward slam is helping a lot. It makes it so that you can just get right back to the ground, which is really what you need, because hang time was a big issue in some of the other games. Oh, <laughs> okay, whoop. Got it, slide, got it. Whoa, okay, you definitely need it there. They sort of expect you just to figure it out on your own. Well, we got ourselves a checkpoint. There is some weird screaming going on. This is a weird song. I mean, the music is a big part to this game, so I'm glad it's been good so far. It's just also been a little wacky. Uh, go under there, got it. Okay, is this toast? Well, it does make sense, we're in food world. All right, okay. Oh, that's real scary. We're doing really well. If I can do this all in one try, I'm gonna be very, very happy. And got it, good, good, good. I'm gonna slide under you, pick that up. Haha, <laughs> okay, we're at 80, and I need to go to the left, so let's make sure that happens. Got it, got it, got it. No, whoa, ho, ho. The, the toe starts to fall too, which is scary. What's funny is that we can just perpetually slide and jump while we're sliding. It's a little weird, but I love it all the same. So yeah, there I held on to the jump button for a little extra long to get a floatier jump, but we did it on the first try, look at me. I'm picking it up as we go. Okay, so, whoop, yeah, bullseye! That was like the perfect level. We got all the puzzle pieces, not puzzle pieces, <laughs> gold pieces, still stuck in Donkey Kong Country right now, and we get the perfect. That was amazing. Can you even possibly get a better score? I don't think so. That is so exciting. Okay, I'm really happy right now. It's It feels good to play good in a game like this, but if I remember anything from the original runner, it also doesn't feel so great to play badly. So what is this over here? The Great Outdoors, VHS required. Well, I don't have a VHS, maybe I can find that somewhere? 1-4, pasta, pasta La Vista. I'm not a big fan of pasta, gotta be honest. This has never been my thing. But, you know, to each their own. If you like pasta, maybe you should visit World 1-4. Don't look now, but I'm standing right behind you. Oh boy, I don't like these, these little, loading screen tips, because they're not very helpful, they're scaring me. The impossibly hard challenge levels aren't actually impossible. I would hope so. <laughs> I like how it seems like every level has their own little, like, stick puppet. I don't know how you unlock that, maybe just by completing, like, all the gold. Oh, look at this, we got the kick! Oh, I love the kick from the first game. Because it's like a cool little ninja kick, hi -ya! So we do have some combat. 
Not exactly combat, it's just sort of a part of the rhythm. Oh gosh, I gotta redo that. I didn't kick and then jump. That was a little weird for me. But it does add a lot more inputs, and that's where things get di difficult. Because I remember in the first game, there were a number of things. You could kick, you could duck, you could shield. Um, so you would just like jump, kick, duck, shield. There we go. Okay, I did good that time. So kick, jump, got it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that boom box. I don't know if like any of that does anything more than just get us some, wait, what happened there? Oh, I was supposed to slam on it, wasn't I? I was supposed to do a little bit of a, ready? Like this, hiya, hiya. Yeah, it does like a little ground shake too. So I guess I can hit that rocket ship or something, which is pretty cool. Also, there's cheese here. <laughs> Lots of cheese. I mean, I guess pasta does use, no, whoa, did I get it? I did, but oh gosh, I'm awful. That is so difficult. Okay, so, let's try this again. I went from totally acing the first level on the first try to just doing really badly on this one. It seems like the other pathways, I guess the gem paths, are a lot more complicated, which is pretty exciting, but also uh, scary. But that means there's a lot of gameplay to this. Oh, that, that's a weird gold piece. It's sort of hard to see coming up to it. Okay, so jump, 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 kick, and then slam, oh, that's it! Oh, that's it! I don't know what that did, but I don't care right now. There's a lot of cool stuff happening in the background that you guys will most likely be able to appreciate more than, wait, whoa, -ho -ho! we're bouncing. Okay, m much more, ow, likely to appreciate than I can. Oh, that number when we die is the number of tries we've had so far. Okay, well, that number's gonna get embarrassingly high for some of the later levels. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. It reminds me of some rhythm games, like I guess like Guitar Hero or even like DDR. Uh, where there's a lot of cool stuff going on in the background, but you can never truly appreciate it as the player because you're too busy dancing, or playing a guitar, or jumping over the pits and trying to get gold. <laughs> I wonder if they'll still have the retro levels because they have those, like, that sort of the thing. Bit Trip 1, or Runner 1, was basically all retro style levels, but then in Runner 2, you have this style, but then the old school levels were sort of like their own bonus thing. Whoa, that's a big jump. Whoa, whoa, oh, I get it. So that was something you can find in the level. Whoa, I don't like it. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. Am I in like a, wait, I was supposed to go down there, no. No, back to the beginning, really? Ah, oh, that stinks. It looks like I don't have to get that little, uh thing more than once, luckily. So that's pretty good, because it wasn't there this time. So I need to jump from here, and then duck, and then got it. Okay, that makes a bit more sense, and I was right there at the checkpoint too, that's a total shame. I can't believe like there was that much there, like the levels have been really, whoa, hold on. Why didn't I bounce off the bouncy? Maybe because I pressed the jump button? But yeah, it's a little wild how much more this has gotten difficult. See, if I don't press anything, we just bounce off it like crazy. I feel like these were in the original one as well, but you had to like actually press a button to activate the jump pads. Yeah, that was a thing, wasn't it? Whoa, the balloons are raising. Whoa, it's misty. How am I supposed to know what's going on? Ah, uh, well, I guess. Don't have to worry about it. <laughs> okay, I really hope I didn't miss a gold piece because of that. I'm gonna keep following the jump pads because they seem to be helping me. Ooh. Okay, come on, come on, make that jump. You did it, good job. And we got the extra, cool. It's always so cool because he has like this cool little rainbow path behind him and if you duck a lot, it makes like a funny little pattern. Okay, what is happening? Oh, that's happening, okay. Um, <laughs> holy cow. Uh, sometimes, you know, how the camera angle changes is a little bit daunting and hard to follow up, like right here. It's like, whoa, what the heck? I do appreciate the changing camera angle, it's pretty cool. And we got all 100. Who in the world is that guy in the background? He's like, hello! How are you down there? Oh, look at the bullseye again. Okay, I'm starting to get that. I'm starting to get the timing pretty well. Uh, one four, Pasta La Vista completed all 100 gold bricks again. Very cool, and we also got the thingamajig. That was a perfect, good. I'm so glad to see. You can collect 100 golds in every standard level run. Good, because that's what I've been doing. Uh, you can collect 25 gems in every gem run. Cool. So this is, oh, a number of things. There's another exclamation point level. Uh, cheese and Josh minus? 
I have no clue, clue what that's supposed to mean. But uh, one five for cheddar or worst. For cheddar or worst. I like it. Puns. <laughs> you know, instead of for better or worse, it's for cheddar or worst. Okay. And it keeps on mentioning a shop in the uh, loading screen tips. I don't know how to get to the shop. Maybe it's something we unlock as we go along. Or maybe I'm just not looking in the right place. But I I'm excited to get to the end of this world, sort of see how everything goes with that. I'll try to complete world one today. I might, might, might not do the exclamation point levels. Maybe we'll just do like the normal run through world one. See how everything goes. This is not the kind of game I'm like eager to 100% because I feel like it would, oh my gosh, we got minecart level. Speaking of Donkey Kong earlier. But yeah, I feel like it would just ruin my sanity. This is so awesome. These things do not move like Donkey Kong though. They move a lot quicker. Oh, duck under that. Whoa, this is scary. Like, I don't have any time to like really figure out what's going on. Also, this face is following me and it's creeping me out. Come on, come on, ready, jump. We're doing really well so far. This is so cool, but like almost disorienting with how fast it's turning. Like, I'm worried if this might be giving people motion sickness watching. Okay, whoa, it slowed down a lot. That's definitely gonna mess with my motion sickness. Okay, whoop. Okay, that's pretty good. We're doing fantastic right now. I don't know how we've survived this long without messing up. <laughs> Just getting thrown new stuff at us. Oh, we got another, another rocket. Okay, that's good. And the checkpoint, thank goodness. Okay, so what is going on now? We got, ah, uh, meatballs, I think. It's too dark to tell, man, it is misty. They are really ramping up the difficulty incredibly quickly here. Got it. So dodge those very misty meatballs. Whoop, whoop, ow, oh, come on. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it's hard to tell what's going on there. Okay, ready? Got it. Duck under that and duck under that one. Jump up before you hit the ledge. I'm trying to think, sing along to see if it'll help. It doesn't really. Oh gosh. Okay, that was good. Whoop. Okay, now, it, now it's different. Oh, that, that perspective is not easy to figure out. Yeah, we gotta restart it. I gotta get every gold piece. <laughs> I'm being very greedy, aren't I? But uh, yeah, that perspective was weird. It was sort of hard to tell where things are. I'm liking the idea that they're sort of trying to adventure around, you know, try different things for this game series, but some of them seem a little odd. Okay, ready, set, gold. I got it, good. Oh, that is such a weird one to get. I need to slam down after the spikes, I think. But it's really hard to tell how far away it is from the spikes. I think it's like immediately after it. So I need to slam down after the spikes and then just go and get it. Okay, so that part's not too bad now. And then we got the, the ultra. Got it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I understand a little bit more now. Just took some trial and error. Whoa. Okay. Ah, I slammed down too hard there. Or at least I guess too soon. Gosh darn, that is, that is really, really tricky. We're gonna try that again. Okay, gotta, oh, come on. <laughs> I am not doing very well with that. Come on, this time we're doing it for real. I've sort of figured out the good chunk of it. But yeah, definitely let me know if you guys wanna see more of this game. I'm sure, you know, we're a half an hour into this video. If you're watching me fail over and over again, you must be enjoying it to some extent, right? Okay. Okay, this time for real. I'm gonna either get it, or I'm gonna cut out until we get it. There we go. I do like the idea of the minecart, though. I think it's a lot of fun. I sort of, oh, come on. I gotta go back already. But I sort of wish it did control a little bit more like Donkey Kong's uh, minecart. It doesn't have much of a weight to the jump, which is weird. I think that's the hard part I'm having with it. But maybe that'll be better. I mean, it seemed like it worked pretty well when I was, you know, slam jumping over the spikes and stuff. Okay, for real though. We got all these carrots giving me this funny look. Okay. I do like how it does have a rhythm to it. Got it. Okay, oh boy. Ah, oh man, that is so tough. That is so very tough. Okay, I think I'm doing better than I have before. Okay, yes I am. For better or for worse. Ah, okay, hold on. Whoa, okay, oh my gosh, we did it, I think, 92? 
No, gosh, no, we didn't. No, we don't. We need to duck under that guy. Okay, so I'm back out of the. I thought that that was the end. No, I was supposed to jump over that. Oh no. Uh, I wish there were more checkpoints. Okay, let's not make any silly mistakes this time. We are gonna go ahead and jump over that. And that time, yeah, see, it pops, but you just have to jump over it, which I wasn't aware of. Okay, ready? Jump. Okay, we did it, we did it, there's a hundred of them. Did I make it? I did, oh man. That was crazy difficult. It makes me have a little bit of a second thought of getting all the gold pieces. Maybe we'll just focus on trying to just get our way through the game. I got a bullseye again, I'm getting really good at that. Okay, so, there's that one done. Everything's perfect, which is fantastic. How many levels do we have to do left in World 1? Or at least for the main path through World 1? Um, I would like to see. It looks like we got a good couple of them. Oh, a shop, awesome, so this is what I was looking for before. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. What kind of thing do we got going on? Also, that guy over there looks really gross. Uh, and that's a loading screen for the shop. You can hold the up button as you approach a springboard. Okay, we haven't run into springboards yet. Uh, well, I guess we have, but we haven't had to hold the up button. Hey, you look like those type, the type that's got a pocket full of coins or gems or a combination of the two, which are required to purchase things from my flying junk boat. All right, so it looks like we have a couple things, right? Or no, we have costumes, capes, accessories, and that's it. So we could wear our birthday suit, Commander Video's default costume, ready to run. Yeah, that's what I have right now. This is the Commander Miss Video? Commander Video in the flesh? No, really, ew, that's gross. Um, and then this is Commander's Wimeo? I have no idea what most of these are referencing now. <laughs> so we'll hold on for now, because I don't think we can afford any of them. We don't have any coins at all. We don't have any gems, so I can't buy any of this stuff. But it looks like it's all cosmetic, so I'm not really too worried about it. I was hoping maybe there could be something that could help me, maybe like an extra hit. That'd be amazing, but uh, no. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to you. This is one six run a foul. Sure. Run a foul. Okay, so this one also has a hundred gold. I think it's always gonna be a hundred gold. All right, well that should be pretty good. Hopefully everything turns out okay. I just want to get through this first world in today's video. That's definitely what I want to do. Maybe there'll be a boss fight. I think there was a boss fight in Runner 2, or multiple boss fights. There was definitely like a final boss in Runner 1. I don't know if I ever beat it. Maybe there was more than one. I can't remember, it's been so long. Runner 1 came out in like 2010. It's, it's been a really long time. Wait, I was ducking under you. Was I not ducking? I thought I was. Uh, Let's try that again. Duck? Yeah, that time I got it. Okay. Whoa. Okay, whoa, okay, that was weird. I could not see what was below me. Well, now I know. There has been some weird times with the camera, that's for sure. Okay, so I probably want to, whoa, yeah, do it like that. Trying to follow the gold bars as much as I can. Duck under that meatball. Whoa, that's a weird one. Okay, got it, got it, got it, jump! I didn't jump high enough. That's also a tough one right there. Because I'm worried that the platform's gonna fall back down again, but maybe it won't. Duck under you. Jump and get that gold. And then I need to, yep, okay. Oh, I still didn't make that. It is not an easy level so far. I can say that much. Ready, jump for it. Duck into these guys. Yeah, the cool thing about this game is that even though it does, it does take a lot of trial and error, you know, you can play it on the go, which is cool. I think this is probably gonna be a really fun mobile game just because it can eat away at a lot of time. I think some of the bit trip run games, because if you guys don't know, like Runner is, you know, its own game series now, but before then, Runner was a part of another game series called Bit Trip, which, you know, usually just had sort of like this old school um, 8-bit art style, gosh darn it. Um, and they were all sort of like short, easy access games, and Runner was one of them. Runner was just the most popular, and it sort of spawned its own little series. And I always liked a good chunk of them. Some of them were really difficult, but they were all very popular. I guess it's called WiiWare games? I, I think that's right. And then, like I said, they eventually made their way to other consoles, especially Steam. Okay, got it, got it, got it, and jump! Oh, that's such a scary jump. Okay, so hit the rocket, because why not? Okay, I made it. But it seems like there's only one checkpoint per level, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I sometimes wish there was two of them. Okay, 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 up, up, up. All right, 
We made it. Well, sort of. We still have more to go. <laughs> this could be just as difficult. Oh my gosh, I don't trust this. I don't trust this. It feels like it's the same song as that one other level. So you could jump over this, but it ain't happening. This level's difficult enough as it is. Come on, come on. I think you only get extra points for the uh, jumping over the checkpoint. So it's not really something I'm too interested in. I mean, I know this is a fun game if you do like, you know, oh no, competing with other people. There we go. <laughs> Just run into that. If you like competing in, you know, competing against other people for like top score or something, this can be a really, really fun game in that way. I am not in any way interested. But yeah, this is definitely the song from the earlier level where everybody is screaming for some reason. Slam that. I don't know what the rocket ship does or the rocket. Yeah, maybe it's just some kind of cool little bonus. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Got it, got it. Okay, I'm just trying to go for the gold piece. As long as we can hit all those, I'd figure everything would turn out just fine, but no. <laughs> Never mind, I just got proven wrong. Okay, come on, we can do it this time. Get the win. No, no, come on. That was the opposite of what I just said. But yeah, let me know if you guys are getting this game, if you like it, if you, you enjoyed this type of gameplay. I mean, like I said, I've, I've loved it. I've, I've played a good chunk of the other two games. Got it. I'm hoping we can run into one of the uh, retro levels, because it did say that in the loading screen tip that there are some. And I'm excited to see uh, what they might be. Okay, that time I made it. Haven't been past this then. And I will be able to, good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ready to kick that. And I did. Okay, uh, I guess I could have gone up there in the gem version. That's pretty good to know. Okay, there's gonna be some times where I might just have to silently focus. We're going into a cave. Oh, this is a bit scary because I don't know where I'm going and looks like the, the game doesn't either because the platforms are moving, the rocks fall. So I just don't even plan on landing on the rocks. Oh gosh. Whoa, ho, ho, that was a little close. Almost made a dire mistake, but we made it past the finish line. It looks like we got all 100, but I didn't quite see. All right, so there's another level done. I just really hope, oh, we missed a bullseye. Just barely, waited a little too long there. Yeah, we got all 100. I just hope that we are getting to the end soon. Um, beat a level to unlock the gem path, I know, I know. But yeah, this has been really fun so far. It's a, it's a very cool game. So what do we got now? That guy didn't even make an appearance in level. He's just a gross dude hanging out. We got one seven, a cheesy breeze. Just like he said. So it seems like each level in the world does have its like overall theme still tied into it. I mean, it, it, I know that in some other games that are platformers like this, of course, like each world will sort of have like a different landscape that still ties in, but it seems like with this game, all of the levels are sort of still the same in a sense. I mean, like that one we had a cave and the other one we had a minecart, so it can be a little bit different. And this one's actually pretty cool as well. So maybe I'm not entirely right about that. Okay, so these are different because these ones, I have to press a button to activate, is that the case? Why is there two different ones? That's a little confusing to me. Or maybe it was just because I didn't want to teach us that before, but now that's how it works. All right, well, however the reason, I'm gonna work with it. But yeah, this is actually a much different level. I don't see how it's breezy just yet. But uh, maybe we'll find out as we, oh, come on, how was I supposed to know? That was total baloney. I thought it was gonna stay down there. <laughs> All right, boing. It's more than a spring, it's more like a piston. Like it shoots you up because of like that motor there. Interesting. Okay, and got it. There's a big old fish in the background. Got it. Okay, so so far, so good. I don't think I've made it this far. No, I have. Yep, this is the part I messed up on. So super jump over, got it. And then, oh boy, I got everything. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna keep going this way. That's more stuff for me. All right, yeah, that's a tough little jump right there. Okay, it's gonna bounce me back over this way, which is good because I wouldn't have been able to get any of that uh, translucent gold, I don't think. Like, I don't think that counts for me. Okay, so there's our super. We're just gonna get Mega now. Oh boy. Okay, I got it. Kick through that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we got the checkpoint. That's good. Uh, and I'm gonna have to go back already. 
<laughs> I timed that really badly. What is the best way to get these? Because they're a little close together. Maybe if I... Yeah, that works. Now, <laughs> come on, I didn't press up in time because I was too busy pressing down. Oh, it's not easy. Like, I don't know how many people at home are watching that have played a, like, you know, like an automatic runner game like this. I feel like there are some that are easier than others, that's for sure. But I feel like this is one of the ones that's harder than it looks. Okay, got it. Yeah, okay, we went the right way there, good. Whoa, whoa, it's always so scary when you don't know what's coming up. Like, it's sort of like right there. What, I pressed out there, that was baloney. It was sort of kind of a leap of faith, which is just all kinds of like, oh gosh, what do I do? There we go. Kick that, keep moving. There we go. So we, we got Ultra for right now. There we go. Okay, so we're doing pretty good right now. Sorry, I was just like focusing on it because it's, it's just so difficult all the time. I gotta bounce again, I gotta bounce again. Got it, and then this one's just like, yeah, that one's just an automatic bouncer. Like maybe pressing jump would do something to bounce me more. It's honestly hard to tell. It's really weird because they haven't really explained that. Just like, okay, this is a spring. But this is a spring you have to do something with. But we're not, I don't know, it's just weird. Like the original springs just showed up. Like they weren't like, hey, this is a new thing. Which is like, okay, there's a spring here. Okay, I just gotta keep moving. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, whoa. And one last kick. There we go, another level completed. And we get a bonus for it. Of course, of course. So uh, yeah, let's try for this one. No, that one was way off. I'm getting worse at it. At least I got a couple of bullseyes before you know I started going to do it really badly. So that's fine. So yeah, let us try to keep moving. I think the next thing is the boss fight, but I'm actually not sure. There's more of these bonus levels. And then we got one eight fishing for condiments. Okay, so I'm wrong. I mean, I'm hoping there's like a boss fight. I mean, yeah, you see the the. The monster within? The monster within in the background. I'm pretty sure this is a boss fight. Anyways, 1-8, let's see how this is. Instead of fishing for compliments. I mean, condiments can be pretty good depending on what it is and what you put it on. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm just waiting it out. Some of these little skins are rather long, I've noticed, like it isn't the biggest deal in the world, but I don't know. I didn't think they would need to be. Okay, so here's catch. Well, we're in like a fridge. Okay, so I was like before starting to criticize the game because it, oh gosh. Um, it felt as though we were just sort of going through the same environments over and over again, but as soon as I say that, they really mix it up. We went through a cool cave. Now we're going through a fridge. It's just like, these are cool. So we can, if we press the jump on at the right time, whoa, do I have to press left there? That is new. Or do we start starting to run to the left as well? That is something I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Out of all the things, I was not expecting running to the left. This truly is a groundbreaking game, so I have to hold to the left, I suppose. It's actually hard to tell there, because the arrow, like it looked like it was pointing to the left, but honestly, it was hard to tell because it was just a triangle. It could have been pointing to the bottom. It was weird. <laughs> Anyways, um, go ahead and, no, okay, I got it, I got it. This is such a weird level so far. I like it, no, come on, ah! Wait, can I crash? Crash, there we go. I missed that one gold piece. Oh, that's the worst. This is a very large fridge, by the way. There, there's a lot of stuff in here. Dang it. It is tough to time those jello jumps. I like calling them jello jumps. That's cool. Let's try it again. Kick that, and then. Pretty good. Jello jump. Oh man, yeah, that is really weird to time. I don't know what I'm getting wrong with that. Like sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, and it might just take a lot of trial and error to really figure it out. Kick through again. There definitely is like a timing to it that's pretty specific, yeah. Like, I don't know if that's supposed to be, like, that's supposed to be telling me which direction I'm pointing, but it's a triangle within a circle, and without like too much context, it honestly could be pointing a number of directions. It's really bizarre why they did that, instead of like an arrow. I mean, I guess this is what the Joy-Cons look like, but the Joy-Cons, we have the context of the other arrows, so it's just like, like when you're looking at it. Like right here, I guess it's supposed to be pointing right, but the other one is at like a weird angle, so it looked like it could have just been pointing downward. 
And like when I'm moving really quickly to survive because I don't have too much time, it's really hard to figure out, it's weird. <laughs> okay, so we're doing all right now. I'm just trying to squish, squish, squish. Cause I have to like hold the button down an additional time, I think, when bouncing off these jellies. I'm not gonna experiment with it because then I'd have to do it over if I mess it up. No, like that. Come on, I just got here. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not done. We're gonna, we're gonna stick together. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to press the jump button like an additional time. I mean, maybe not though. I just held it down the whole time there. But it just, I don't trust it. Not one bit. <laughs> And it's really tough because you have to do it all over again if you mess it up, so. I don't really think it's worth risking. Got it. But yeah, we're running to the left, which is really weird for a bit trip game or runner game. At least this runner game, not runner like the genre. That's sort of the weird thing about the title of this game, which is why I sort of want to call it bit trip still, is because it's sort of, you know, just contextually confusing when you just call it runner. Anyways, I'm getting my butt kicked. This is difficult. <laughs> okay, well I missed a, a gold piece, but honestly, I've tried this so many times that I'm just gonna leave it for now. It's unfortunate, but I, I don't I don't have all the time in the world. And there's the checkpoint. So I'm gonna go with 99 gold pieces at the most this time, which is a total shame. But like I said, I don't really know if we want to do more episodes or not. I'm still sort of on the fence. I do not like the jelly mechanic. It's sort of like a little wishy-washy with sometimes how it works, I feel like. I mean, at least for me so far. It feels like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and I don't really get why. And I'm holding down the jump button. It looks like you actually can, which is nice. Which is like you jump off one jelly, just keep the button down, and you can bounce from jelly to jelly full height, which is good when it actually works. I don't know though. Maybe it's just me being bad. It usually is, but I don't know. Anyways, got it. Whoa, look at us! Okay, whoa, 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 I can actually steer this. This isn't like lane-based. It is sort of weird how it does jump from like that kind of stuff. Oh, that, that, I guess that's sort of a little bonus. Hold on, <laughs> there's a little Mr. Hamburger. Okay, how am I supposed to get both the gold and the hamburger through there? I mean, I guess I could maybe with enough preparation. Well, I'll have to wait and see. I mean, I've already missed a gold piece, so if I, excuse me? I was holding left as much as left can be held there, sir. I don't know what the deal here was there. Okay, let's try that again. Come on. But yeah, I might just stop worrying about the gold pieces. I feel like they're a little bit too much more stress than they're worth at the moment. Because I don't even know really what they unlock, except for those, I mean, they unlock those bonus levels, but I'm gonna guess they're just more difficult levels. Which is great, but I don't know. I just wanna get through the game. <laughs> okay. There does seem to be something interesting happening in the background over there. With the little, whatever, whatever they're supposed to be. Having like a little party, which is cool. Oh, maybe they're like little pieces of cereal. We are in sort of like a cereal cabinet. Okay, so we're back on this thing again. I need to be careful. Uh, Cause I need to grab these gold pieces. Can I jump? Oh, I can jump. Oh, is that even possible to get all the gold pieces there and the little puppet? I don't know. Oh well, now my worry now. Oh, darn it. How could I have saw, seen the one that was behind the other? I don't know. That That's just me being bad, again. <laughs> I'm trying so hard, I promise. Okay, I missed another gold piece. I don't care much. Okay, that was the finish line. Because like I said, I already missed some. Amazing accomplishments. Now we know what that looks like when you don't get all the gold pieces. So there's another level done. We at least got the little puppet secret. That's pretty good. So hopefully there's just a boss fight. It might be like one more level in the boss fight. There's a lot of levels in this game so far. I don't know how many worlds are gonna be. Maybe there's only like two or three worlds. Uh, but there is that done. And we got one nine, or we could just do the Monsters Within? Not yet. Um, just desserts. Just I gotta stop saying it if I know he's gonna say it. I just keep forgetting and then I realize. <laughs> Anyways, it should be fine, I would hope. But we're gonna have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm still a little on the fence of like, oh, should I do the full game, do a full series? Probably not like 100% the full game, but that would just drive me insane. <laughs> But it might be fun playing through the main game, trying to get you know each world done and trying to see the end of it. Uh, we'll have to wait and find out. Okay, BB double jump? Whoa, whoa, I was not expecting a double jump. Is that just something he'll have forever or only in like specific levels? Holy cow, I was not, that's gonna make things wickedly difficult. Oh my gosh, a double jump. Once again, like the last thing I was expecting. Okay, so I gotta double jump over that. Oh my gosh, that's just scary. 
Okay, so yeah, I need to, no, I messed that up, but I need to double jump to get that gold. Okay, bounce up here. No, I pressed down. <laughs> I meant to press left. I just have to ignore. Oh, this is like, yeah, there's a lot of desserts everywhere. That's beautiful. But um, I just have to ignore the signs that are just triangles within circles that just make everything confusing for me. Okay, got it. Got it, it was this one I messed up on, not this time, okay. Got it, got it. Bounce up like that to the left, to the, I was pressing right, so. Like if I hold down right, it usually doesn't work. I have to like press it at the right time, so I'm trying to like constantly tap it to be ready. It ain't easy, I can say that much. Come on, come on. All right, jump, jump, nice. Okay, we're doing pretty good, pretty good. But I mean, this is the early part of the level, and I missed a gold piece. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna keep moving forward. That's the most important thing. Now, can I just get past the super simple spring section? That'd be great. No, I can't. What the heck? Whoa, ho, ho, that is tough to make. Okay, so it is like two very floaty jumps. But then, oh, we can get up here now? Can we go back to the old levels and have these abilities? I don't think so. That'd be a little too crazy. But it would be sort of a cool idea. Okay, whoa, okay, ah, oh, ha, ha, I haven't gotten a checkpoint yet either. Jeez, that is crazy. Okay, come on, come on. Go to the left, go to the right, got it. Oh no, I missed the rocket ship again. I don't know what that does though. So like, is it really worth my while right now? I'm a little skeptical. Okay, we missed out on something there, but I don't care. <laughs> We've already missed out enough in the last couple of levels. Wow, that is crazy. That is like super duper crazy. Okay, so what do we got going on here? More of these spring jumps. Whoa, an airplane, okay. I'm getting all these, just because the airplane sections are pretty fun, actually, because, ah, oh, okay, not maybe one of those obstacles. That was, like, really quick, though, too. That's another one of those obstacles where it's, like, I feel like I just have to have some trial and error, like, experience. It really isn't too much I can do when it comes to actually knowing that that's there without just knowing beforehand, you know? Like, reactionary skills alone seem like it's a little bit much. But I do know that after sort of a good line of these, it goes by, but now that I know that these things pop up, Okay, gold pieces. Okay, I think we made it, I think we made it. We made it, okay, cool. I got more springboard in sections. Nice, okay, so we're on extra. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second, what was with that? That was insane. I'm also realizing this isn't even an airplane, it's an eggplant with olives on the bottom of them for wheels. That's interesting. <laughs> that definitely gives me like a little big planet feel. How everything's like super makeshift and like I guess miniaturized in a way. Okay, so I need to make that jump, duck under, duck under again, kick that. All right. Whoa, UFO, hi UFO. Are you just taking some desserts? No, you're taking me. What is happening? Why did you walk into the, okay. Commander videos is like, okay, let me just go here. Okay, <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay, we did really bad there, we missed five gold pieces. That was an interesting level with an interesting ending. <laughs> okay, so we should be good to move on to the boss fight now finally, which will be great, hopefully. Whoa, what in the, wait, what? Then what is this? Is that the boss fight? Then what is, oh, two out of nine. Two out of nine what? I don't know. Well, then we're just gonna worry about this. If this is our boss fight, the Sausage Santa, look at him. I, I guess he's like a robotic Santa that's evil. That's an interesting concept. That is, <laughs> I don't know what this is gonna be like. I'm a little nervous. Uh, the Sausage Santa. So let's fight, face this guy. I have double jump and everything. Oh, whoa, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, can I shoot? I have no clue, it looks like I can shoot, but maybe I need to wait. 
I will release your demise. Oh, uh, that's a sausage. So pick up the sausage, put it in the grinder, and then shoot it back at him. Boom, meatball. <laughs> that is weird. So I have like all the bit trip abilities still, which is like, or the commander video abilities. So I can double jump, I can slam down. I've hit him twice, so I have to hit him three times and you're out, or is it more than that? Okay, hot dogs there. Or sausage, that's what it is. Okay, boom, I got him. Uh, checkpoint, oh, okay. This is so weird. This is so very weird. He's trying to break the bridge right now and I don't appreciate it. Where's that sausage gonna be? Over here. And do I have to do anything to shoot it? It just sort of shoots itself. It's gotta be in the right position for it. Okay, you got another one. And it's right there. And then, gotcha. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Just gotta be careful of the gap now, mind the gap. Sausage. Okay, holy cow. Oh my gosh, got it. Boom, so we hit him three times, it gives us a checkpoint, which is actually pretty cool, I like that. Um, this isn't too bad for a first boss. I'll appreciate it. Okay, where's the sausage at? Right there. So we have to hit him three more times at the least. There's one. Yeah, it turns red on the top, right, the little circles. Sausage, whoop, whoop, got it. He's gonna shoot that. One more hit, can we do it? This whole bridge is falling apart. There it is, there it is, there it is. Got it. Okay, that's a problem. That's a problemo. Boom, gotcha. Down goes the Robo Santa. Boss bonked. Floodland, the Sausage Santa. Command this villain. Special effect, or special perfect, no. Okay. <laughs> so we did it, we defeated the boss. That was really bizarre. Now like I said, there are plenty of levels left over, and we unlocked another world which is Spooky Land, I like it. But uh, there are plenty of levels left over in this world. I won't be tackling them for now. I just wanna sort of get through the game and have fun with that. Um, but if you do guys, if you guys do enjoy this and a lot, the series gets like a lot of support, maybe we could go ahead and do the other bonus levels because there are a heck of a lot of them. But for now, I think that's exactly where we're gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Runner 3. If I just put a video, make sure you comment Zebra Runner so now you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.